We've gotten access to our C panel, our control panel, and once we were in there, we created our database. So now let's install WordPress. Now, WordPress is a CMS, Content Management System, and it's uh, open source and it's available for free. So we're going to go out to WordPress.org and we're going to download the files we need. Now, there's two different types of WordPress. There's a WordPress.com, and this is where you can set up a blog automatically, and you just log into this website, and they have done all the work for you. The downside of that is you can't use your own or your client's um, domain name. It has WordPress in it. So if you do WordPress.org, you can download it yourself and install it for your client and they can use it or you can use it yourself. Wait till you see how fast we can create these websites. So again, we'll go out to WordPress.org. We'll click on the download button. We're going to download the most recent version and this is constantly changing so your version will probably be a higher number than this. And I'm going to put it in my where I do all my uh, web server stuff. So this is on my computer. And I have set up a folder called public underscore HTML. Now this is going to duplicate out on my server. So you can see I have an index page out here. This would be my home page. And any graphics that this index page uses will be inside my graphic folder. So that's kind of like my main page out on the T server. First, I'm going to save my file, and then I'm going to go into the file and unzip it. Now, if you're using Windows, you will right mouse click on this and say extract all, and that will create a WordPress folder. Now, I'm going to keep this original zip file here, but I am going to rename this WordPress, and I'm going to call it blog. Then in order for people to see this page, they'll type out my client's domain name or what your, will be your username, your first name, last name, .t.southcentral.edu slash blog will take you into this folder and then that will read the index page in this folder right here. Now, WordPress is run with a program called PHP, so this doesn't have an HTML ending, it has a PHP ending. Um, don't worry about that, you can kind of think of those as synonymous. Uh, right now, later on, you'll learn what the PHP stand for. It's basically a language that runs out on the server. All right, so now I have my files all set up. Now I'm gonna open up FileZilla. And what we're going to do is we're going to FTP out this blog folder out to our server. So let me resize my windows. All right, and I'm already set up for Pedro. So I'll go down here to T server for Pedro. I'll do a connect. And I'm the first thing I'm going to do is go into my public underscore HTML file. And you can see out here I have quite a few files. Um, you can just safely ignore those now. But you can the main thing is you can see I have my index page and I have a graphic folder. And then all the subfolders out here are my other projects that I have going on. So here I've navigated on my right side to my public underscore HTML folder. I'll go inside of it. And by naming it on my local computer, by naming it public underscore HTML, that reminds me to go into my public underscore HTML out here. So this is where we have the WordPress files and I want those right in the root of public underscore HTML. So I'll right mouse click and upload. And you can see the files going up in, onto the server. 
You can see this is going to take a little while. This is about almost a thousand files. So I'm going to fast forward to show you what to do next. All right, you can see we're coming into the end of our files. Now you look down here, all our files have gone over. We don't have any file transfers. And if we look out here, we have a blog folder. And this is all our WordPress stuff. So we're going to go back to the browser and we're going to visit our website. So we're going to go http colon slash slash do your username dot t dot south central edu. Now notice this is http. This is a regular user going out to your website just to view it. But we don't want to look at the home page. We want to go off to the blog. So we're putting in the blog folder, and that's going to automatically run the index file. Oh, we got a problem. It says there doesn't seem to be a wp-config.php file. So they'll create it for us. I love WordPress. Now, they need something, so get your notes out from the previous video, and you're going to need the database name, the database username, and the database password. So, you're ready to go, got your notes out. The database name is, for me, it's pedroj.wordpress. And my username is the same thing, .wordpress. And my password is what this is my database password now your local host is correct it's local to the server so don't let that throw you and we're going to leave our table prefix the same so the only three things you have to change are these three things but you have to have them exactly right and yes upper lower case do matter all right finally we're run the install and we want to give it a title so web dev demo, or you can title it anything that you want. I usually set up my username as peter.johnson. Again, now you want to write this information down because this is a third set of user ID and passwords. So this is the set of user ID passwords for your WordPress application. So you can go in and make changes. I'm going to use the same password. That's kind of my universal password. And I'm going to do my email. Now, because this is just a test site, I'm getting I'm just playing around. I really don't want it to show up on any of the search engines, so I'm going to uncheck that. And then I'm going to install WordPress. All done. I'll log in. It's going to ask me for my username and my password. And here I am in the control panel for WordPress. Now notice the uh, HTTP. It's my website slash blog. And to get into this control panel for WordPress, I go into wp-admin. And if you want to see the actual blog, we're going to make a new tab here. And we're going to go to my username, .t.southcentral.edu slash blog. And that'll take us right to the blog. So here's my WordPress blog. Again, this is just this is for people to view the page. If we want to make changes and edit it, you go into the same thing, adding wp-admin, and that takes us into this control page.